So check this out, ladies and gentlemen. This is the video that I promised you guys. I should have been put this up here, man. But uh, this is a day two sharpshooter. I took, the, I did this video. His name was Generalism. Uh, General, as I, I don't know what his name. General SM, ninety eight. Whatever. This is the pure, first pure sharpshooter I ever saw. And these were his stats right here. This, this is my career right here. Nobody don't care about that. Let's, let's check out his playground stats. This dude, I mean, he's shooting 35%, 34% in my career, 34, 33% from the field, 30, whatever, from three. And I was just like, it was insane because when we played him, I mean, we just came back from, a, from him dropping Anonymous all the way off in this game. Like, this is when we realized how crazy stuff was. The only thing he had, the only gold badge he had was catch and shoot. So. What happened in the game before was day two of 2K18, the guy Generalism, General whatever his name was, 87 overall, dressed up like Steph Curry, whatever. He was, I mean, couldn't miss a shot. Look at him, left, right, season, pulling up, cash. Like, it was insane. Now, I was like, Anonymous was on him. So, you know, that, that was that. You know, I wasn't even really worried about it. Because, again, Anonymous was on him. Anonymous had a center, and he was a small forward, so of course he was going to do Anonymous over. So I was like, hey, you know, let me come out here. Let me play against him. Let's hop on the spot, and I want to see what I, what I can do against him with my two-way uh, with my two -way sharpshooter. Now, they beat us the first game. Ain't no doubt about that, because like, like I said, he had a center on him. Anonymous was on him, so he really didn't have really any chance at all. But when I played him, I felt some type of way holding his back up a little bit. When I played, so 18 and seven, I'm pretty sure his record don't look like that right now. But uh, 18 and seven, when I played him, I felt some type of way. I'm not even gonna lie to you, man, because uh, dude was, I mean, look, this this was back when, you know, now it's crazy now because my record is something like 600 and 150. This was in, this was in the learning portion of the game when we didn't know, like nobody really knew how to play the game. Nobody knew what was going on and nobody had an outstanding record. But look at this, I mean, it was it was crazy. I'm trailing, look at this. I'm, I'm on him, everything. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be contesting everything or whatever. So don't get, don't get mad at that. But the thing that I don't understand is people kept saying stuff like, he's left right now already out of the gate. He don't care. So the, the thing is that people were saying was, you have a 99 contested three, I should be able to make this shot. The whole point, that everybody that's against heavily contested shots is making is this. You should not have a 99 contested three. Nobody should have that. You got like a 96 open three, and if you got long arms, you got a 99 contested three. You should not have that. And then people are like, well, what's, what's sharp shooter supposed to do? We can't dribble, we can't. You're not supposed to be able to dribble. Like the, 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 the left, right stuff. You you shouldn't it shouldn't be a thing. You should not be able to dribble. Look at that. I can't even pass the ball. I'm cool with that. I should have thrown the ball away. My passing is on like 40. I should throw the ball away. When you try to do too much with a character, then you should be penalized. You should be punished. But with these guys, the thing that people are saying is is that you know, it's just no penalty. Right here look at he going left right. I know he going left right. He really don't have anything. Exactly. That should not, that shouldn't have gone out of bounds. He should have been able to make that pass. But the whole point I'm trying to make is, if if they're gonna let you dribble, even though you got low ratings, then that means that ratings don't mean anything. That's the only thing that everybody's trying to get across. Like, you got you got the dunkers, they can dunk. Sharp shooter can shoot. But um, the, the other thing about them, if they take down, if they take down you being able to shoot contested shots, that means that centers won't be able to just throw up anything in the paint also. And and that's something that I want as well. Like, I don't care about this whole playground. Look, look, look at that, that almost went in. That That's what should happen every time if you body to body somebody. Trays up, splat, oh, break down, I think it's on the rack. I mean, like, that's cool, because that's on the guard, but that's on the rim protected down there. What I feel like is this, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, heavily contested shots, look, look at that, I was like, I was dumbfounded. I don't even know why he took that shot. And the last time he hit it, like when I'm telling you he was dropping Anonymous off, he was dropping Anonymous off. But like I said, he had a center and, he, and there is no way he could have kept up with it. But we're just saying that you should not have these ratings. This guy right here, I shouldn't be mad that I can't dunk on somebody because my dunk rating is abysmal. It sh I shouldn't be able to dunk on somebody. But at the same time, Y'all guys were like, well, we grind for dead eye. I got dead eye too. But I don't think, like, I, I I would never get dead eye playing out here in the park because the way that you get dead eye is taking bad shots. Like, I don't care if I don't feel like I should be bailed out. And look at that. That's going to be cash. That should be cash. He's wide open. But 
I don't feel like I should be bailed out if I take a bad shot. If I take a bad shot, I should be punished for it. Most of the time, I take a bad shot. The only reason I continue to take that bad shot is because if I take a bad shot, I know for a fact, look at right here, I'm, I'm on him right here. He pull up, heavy contest, cash. What is that? And I get good shot contest. Should he hit that? Hey, maybe it's a late closeout. It is what it is, man. I can't get too mad at it. But stuff like that should not be falling, especially when I got a defensive archetype. We've already established that he don't have like, like a super dead eye. And look at that right there. Same thing, contest, cash. Like, what is this? But that should, that, that's fine. He stepped back on me. I'm, I'm not even mad at it. Because the rest of the way, I don't, I don't know. Now, that's a heavy contest. No way that that goes in, right? But those contest, those those type of contests are what's going in. But like I said, people are just saying, like, like we grind for badges, too. We have defensive stopper. We have all this stuff that will stop your badges or should should negate your badges. I, I just I just want bad basketball to be to be punished. That's all. If you take, I, I would never, I would never know that the 99 contested shot actually works because I would never take a contested shot. I expect to miss every contested shot, and when I do hit a contested shot, I'm like, whew, the game bailed me out on that one. Now the rest of the way I had him, I mean, it, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing. I mean, like that, that contest counts, right? But the heavy contests don't. And that's what I just don't understand. The game is so iffy. This is when I realized that I had to go and turn off. Auto contest when intense D. This is the game where I learned that if you are playing with auto contest when intense D on, you're gonna get splashed on. It's just going to happen. I'm not mad that he hit all the shots that he hit because he, I mean, I feel like he should hit those now, but he don't have the dead eyes. He don't have any of the badges that are allowing him to hit that shot. So it is what it is. And I'm just having to play him extra tough, extra tight. And, and like I said, I'm not even mad at it. It just, it just feels like some uh, an archetype that's already in range when they come across half court, like you should, you you have to be able to defend them. Like y'all don't, you 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 guys don't want your guy to be able to be defended at all. Is what it seems like. Like it really feels like that. Like you don't want to have that. That was awful. I don't know how that went in. That shouldn't have gone in. What that should have been, it was a reverse layup. That shouldn't have gone in under any circumstances. But see, I can say that. Y'all won't say that. Y'all should. Y'all be like, look, heavy contest again, and, and it's off. And like I said, this is the way that it should be. But sometimes, oh, he's going straight to the layup. Why didn't he? Why he didn't dunk that? Hey, who knows? But this is the way that I feel like the game should be. Contested shots shouldn't go in, and 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 open shots should. And like I, I, I it just hurt my mind, hurt my soul when people were talking about, hey, but um, we got the 99 contested, we got the 99 this and that. But y'all just don't even understand that you should not have that. It's just like like if you got. You don't have dribble moves. You shouldn't be able to get open dribbling the ball. Your team should literally have to get you open as as a as a uh, as a pure sharpshooter. You're a pure sharpshooter. You're not a halfway sharpshooter. You're not a playmaking sharpshooter. You're not any of that. Oh, your boy clutch time trades up, splash down, and that I know somebody's gonna say ah, ah, you hit a contested shot. That was not contested, sir. Check it out. I got the ball. I square up. Right here, the ball is gone prior to him contesting the shot, right? So that's what I'm saying. Like, I know somebody's going to say something about that. But I got plenty of time. Look, the ball is gone right there. In this frame, the ball is – now, we're going to – I got to go, go back to it right here. All right, boom. He's not contesting. Still not contesting. Still not – okay, now the ball is gone. So his contest no longer would matter for anything if we go on by real life, right? So – it's a contest, but it says open on the thing, and that's cool. But sometimes you're right there when the ball goes up, and it still says open for them. I don't think they need to pass contested shots. I think they just need to redefine what a contested shot is. And he's just trying to left right me to death and, and do all the stuff, but I'm, I'm not having any of it. Like I said, this game, they allowed me to play defense. Some games, they may not allow me to play defense, but he should not be able to do any of that stuff. And right here, man, I'm just like, look, they got a pure sharpshooter on their team, and, and you know, we just got to do what we got to do. And I'm shooting. Did he hit that? He didn't hit that. Kick it back out. Trey's up. Y'all already see what time it is. Wide open. Good release. He's doing the dance. Cash! Pipe it up. I got the price on reserve. And we win the game. But the fact of the matter is, that's how it should be. A game like this, I'm not mad at where I was able to hold him to 
two for four and three for seven shooting, right? I'm not mad at a game like that. But now, it's like when you're in people's faces with the dead eye, none of that happens. They hit all those shots now. They hit every single one of them. And that's what people are upset about. Let's go back to the one to, to one of the ones where I felt like I contested his heavily. And we're gonna look and see if I was there, you know, when when um when I thought I contested it. We're gonna see. We'll check it out. Cause in the interest of fairness, that's what I want to do, right? Uh all right, here we go. So I'm right here. That was a fader. So he should hit that if he hit it. Okay, that was a fader. And he missed that. I want to just see if I was there on my contest. I don't think I was there on this contest. Yeah, see, I said that's a good shot. So I can't even get mad at that. By the time I get there and start contesting, the ball is gone. Boom. Okay, that's fine. The other, Like I said, the ones where I, where I actually made... Okay, here we go. Right here. He's going up. He's going up. I'm there. I'm there. He's being contested right now at this point. This is a contested shot. The ball has not left his hands. It has not left his hands. It still hasn't left his hand. Literally, my hand is in his face. My hand is literally in his face as he's right. To me, this is a good contest because I am there from the time that he catches the ball. Look, I'm there from the time he catches the ball to the time he releases it. That's a great contest. And that goes in, cash. Like those are the ones that we're talking about should not be going in. The other one that he hit this step back, I can't even get mad at this because on the step back, Hey, he just he just got the best of me with that move, man. He hit me. Look, I thought he was going there. He hit a step back. Let's see what happens. Okay, look. He's up. I'm trying to contest. Right now, it's not registering to contest. The ball is gone by the time I contest it. All the rest of them, I contested properly. And then, and you know that. That, the, that one, the other one is the only one. This one right here is the only one that I really feel like this is the one that I feel like had no business going in. And I know it said heavily contested on his screen because I'm there the entire time. So that's when I realized that if you don't turn off shot contest with intense D, this, it was right here at this moment that I realized that if you don't turn off shot contest with intense D, you're, you're not gonna be able to contest the shot. Look, I'm hitting his arm, that should be a foul. But it is what it is, man. Like I said, a lot of people feel like you should be able to hit those shots because you have 99 contests, but you should not have 99 contests. You shouldn't be able to dribble any more than my small forward or my center can dribble. This that, like You guys are actually saying like, there's not an archetype in this game that can do everything, nor should there be. You can put archetypes together to do the things that you want to do the most, but there should not be an archetype in this game that's capable of doing everything. That's all, that's all most people are saying. And nobody should be hitting contested shots. I don't care if it's a sharpshooter. I don't care if it's a center. I don't care what it is. Center's in the paint going up when I'm standing in his space and he literally has nowhere to go and he just goes up and throws the ball up and does one of those goofy animations like that. That should be stopped too. That should count as a heavy contest and the shot should not go in. I feel like that should be across the board. You should have to take smart shots. Why do we have a game that's going to be competitive where you don't have to take smart shots. I tell you one thing though, when you get in it, when, when I'm not worried about it because, like I said, I don't play park anymore. I stopped playing park. Then we went. Then we we, we ascended to uh, pro am, and then we stopped playing regular pro am because we didn't like that rule set. And we went to we went to uh, team pro am that has an even stricter rule set. And that's all I want to play now. I don't even want to play regular pro am. I don't even want to play walk on anymore because that really feels too bomb friendly, and it really feels like it's nothing but bombs in there. That's what it feels like. I'm not saying that that's the case, but that's how it feels on the playground. It feels like you get away with too much BS. It feels like you get away with too much in regular pro am. So I play team pro am where a lot of this stuff doesn't fly. Now the contested shots still fly a little bit, but if they didn't go in, a lot of people wouldn't have any recourse. If they couldn't just throw the ball in the paint to the center, hope they catch him rolling and duck on somebody, a lot of people would have no recourse. They would just be trash at the game. Like my dog, Paul Jr. Paul Jr. gets in the paint, makes moves, gets you in the air and dunks. The other centers on this game, they don't do any of that stuff. All they do is just sprint straight to the paint, and I'm waiting on them with the with the uh, you know, with 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 the charge formation, and I'm going down. Like that's how it works. But anyway, man, like I said, you guys let me know. Should this shot be going in? Like I said, you guys keep saying, well, we got the badges and we got we have 99 contested shot. You should not have that. That's what we're saying. You shouldn't be able to dribble every time you every time you handle the ball because if you're a sharpshooter and you handle that rock. In um in team program and they press you any 
you're putting the ball on the ground. Seven out of ten times, you're going to lose the ball. So that's just how it goes in there. But, like, your archetype was not designed. The thing that we're saying is, you shouldn't be able to do things that are outside your archetype. Just like I should not have made that layup, and I didn't even mean to do it. I meant to do a reverse layup. Just like, just like I should not be able to do that. They shouldn't, you know, sharpshooters shouldn't be able to dribble. Center shouldn't be able to dribble. If your archetype, if it's like a 30 in your archetype, you shouldn't be able to do it. And sharpshooters, we know, we know what their, we know what their stuff is, man. Let's go back to the beginning. I'm going to get up out of here, man. We know what their stuff is. We know what center stuff is. We know all these attributes, right? But, but people still want to be like, that is not, that is not an archetype that can do everything. Now, there are archetypes that can do a lot of the stuff that you want them to be able to do, but look at that ball handling. That ball handling is trash. Come on, man. That ball handling is trash. That's like a center's ball handling. Come on, man. You ain't even halfway. Passing, passing is trash. All this stuff is trash. So, with that being the case, you know they don't, you know, you know they don't they don't let you guys play defense and do stuff like that. But you're a pure sharpshooter. That's that's what you asked to do. You said, I don't want to be able to do nothing but shoot the ball and nothing else. And you made the decision hoping that you would be able to find something in the game to circumvent it. When I made a two-way sharpshooter, I wanted to be able to shoot threes and stop people. That's what I wanted to be able to do, and I knew that putting me stopping people second was going to was gonna make me not be able to stop people as much as I wanted to. I knew this, and, and I still chose it. I knew I wasn't going to be able to dunk on anybody. I knew I would be able to go to the rim in a very limited capacity. I knew I was going to be able to um, not really hit. I, I'd be able to hit mid-ranges, but I'm not going to be able to... Um, I'm not going to be able to stop big men because I made a small forward. I accepted all of this. I knew I wasn't going to have any speed with the ball. I accepted all of that. But it's just like people don't want to accept that you chose the archetype. Nobody chose it for you. So if you chose a center, you shouldn't be able You chose a, a pure glass cleaner. Why should you be able to shoot threes? I think everybody in the game should have a mid-range. Everybody everybody should have a mid-range if you, if you can time your shot. But why should a pure glass cleaner be able to shoot threes? You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm not, I don't care about pure sharpshooters because... That's not the thing. That's not the, the, the course of the discussion. The discussion is anybody making heavily contested shots. I'm as tired of seeing pure sharpshooters make heavily contested shots as I am of seeing centers just sprint to the paint and throw the ball up when you stop them. It's already hard enough to stop them and, and force them into a drop step or, or anticipate where they're going, right? And keep them from going into the standing dunk animation. But then, even then, you have to still jump because you've already stopped them and stifled them and then they throw up a heavily contested layup and it goes in eight out of ten times like i'm, I'm as tired of that as i am of uh, of, of sharpshooters hitting contested shots so it's not just against sharpshooters it's not just about that to me i feel like a bad shot is a bad shot you have to punish bad shots and why are you getting more greens on contested shots or lightly contested shots than we are on wide open shots. This game is backwards. Like I said, man, I don't care about sharpshooters. Sharpshooters do your thing. I, I got a pure sharp. I play with a pure sharp. My dog finesse. He don't miss. So I'm I'm for it. I, I'm not gonna be blind to it that this is how you win games in the park. But at the same time, it still shouldn't be that way. Like if you accept that that this is how you win games in the park, you're gonna win. If you don't accept it, then you're not gonna uh, you you you're not really gonna. You know what I'm saying? You're not you're not really gonna win. But anyway, like I said, since since then, since that time, I have fixed my record. Uh, I guess I guess we say fix my record. I, I've updated my record. I think I'm like almost. I'm I'm like um access to online man. I'm, I was gonna show y'all all of this stuff, man, but it is what it is. Um, since all this time, I've I've updated my record. I'm almost like 600 and like 150 or something like that, man. So you know it is what it is. But anyway, I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. I don't care about pure sharpshooters. I care about the game as a whole. Nobody should be making heavily contested shots to, to the point where we rely on it. You understand what I'm saying? It, oh, a bailout once in a while is fine, but to the point where you rely on it and you actually defend it, like I should be able to make, no. Nah. I don't, I don't like that at all, man. But anyway, that's the dude that was dropping me off. I couldn't do nothing with him. He, I mean, he dropped Anonymous all the way off the game before. But again, like I said, Anonymous had his center before. And then we we switched out some stuff. And then we picked up a center. And then we beat him. And, and he was still getting the best of me just now. It, it just is what it is. I accept that I was not defending him properly. But I do feel like there's, there, you know, there's a couple of shots in there. 
if every game went like that where I can defend somebody, I wouldn't have a problem. But every game doesn't go like that. There's just too many games where, where you're right there and they hit the shot still. And what I'm trying to do is show you guys my record now and then we're going to get up out of here, man. Like I said, I really hope you guys understood where I'm going with this whole thing. I'm not for nerfing sharpshooters. You need sharpshooters in the game, but you need sharpshooters to understand their role. You're not supposed to be able to go to the rim. You're not supposed to be able to dribble the ball. Like, just like my center, big, big smooth Sam Perkins, I'm not supposed to be able to post up and hit post fadeaways. I'm not supposed to be able to hit hook shots, but I can. But if they take that out, I wouldn't be mad, but I know why I can hit post shots. I know why I can hit all oh, yeah, the VIP stats part. Yeah, 582 and 170. So, I mean, it ain't a great record, but it is what it is. But uh, I, I'm not supposed to be able to hit hook shots, but I understand why I can hit hook shots. Because in this game, a hook shot is defined as a mid-range. And you can hit, I can hit mid-ranges with him, so I can hit, I can hit hook shots with him. But if they redefine that, I wouldn't be mad because I'm not supposed to be able to do it anyway. That's what I'm saying. I Contested shots just really have no place in the game. But like I said, though, hey, hey hats off to generalism. He was a good player. Uh, hey, he got the best of me. And, uh, you know, it was just fortunate that we were able to play defense. And uh, he missed a couple of shots in the end, and we won the game. But um, that's all, man. I, like I said, I, I don't know why anybody would want it to be that way, but it is what it is. I got to get up out of here, man. I'm not ready. I'm just starting to repeat myself now. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! 3-6 that this month.